A few weeks ago, I showed you how to remove columns based on the position number using the function table schema in Power Query. I received a question asking how to do that using Excel functions. So today I'm going to show you that. Here we have our table with 105 columns and 50,122 rows. I want to dynamically remove the columns with pipes. The first column has text. From there, I have one column with pipes, one column with number, one column with pipes, one column with numbers. From here up to column D, B. So I'm going to go here on the right. I'm going to select column D, D. And I'm just going to move a little bit more to the right. I'm going to press Alt W S to split on the left. I have, I'm going to have the, the table visible. And on the right, I'm going to be working on cell D, E2. I'm going to start with the function count A. I want to count all those items that are not empty. I'm going to provide the values. I start from cell B2. I'm going to select all that row up to column D, B which are the headers for this table two, close parentheses, enter. They have a total of 105. I'm going to combine this. I press F2, and after the equal, I'm going to combine it with the function sequence. I'm not going to provide rows, so I provide the comma. And the columns will come from the result of my function count A, which is 105. So I want to create a sequence of numbers from one to 105 with a step increase of one. So the step increase and the starting point is one for default. So I'm not going to provide that information since it is the default. So I'm going to close just the parentheses for the function sequence and I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, I have a sequence of one to 105 with a step increase of one. I'm going to go back to my cell DE2 and now I'm going to combine this with is false. If the number is false, then it's going to give me a true. If it's not false, it's going to give me a false. I'm going to go to the end, close parentheses, and enter. And sure enough, I have true, false, true, false, and so on, and so forth. From here, I want to convert this into numbers. So to do that, I'm just going to multiply this by one. Press enter. And here I have ones for true and zeros for false. Once I have this, then I'm ready to use my function filter. After the equal, I'm going to say filter. The array will come from the content of my table two. So from B2 up to cell DP 50,123. Control backspace to go back to my active cell. Here is my table to all comma after that. So that is my array. And now what needs to include will come from the result of my function is false. Go to the end, close parentheses and press enter. And here we have, let me remove the split, Alt W S. And here I have our table without the pipes. If I select from cell D E up to F E, my number is 53. It's 53 columns from the original 105. So just keep in mind that this is the result of a dynamic array. You cannot overwrite any of these numbers or any of these text. If you try to do that, let's say here, I'm trying to overwrite this information. I'm going to have an error because the dynamic array won't have enough space to spill the result. So if I remove that text, now I have enough room for the dynamic array to spill the result. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me in LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.